Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me for Technology Tip Thursday. I'm so excited to come back and create more content for you all. I'm going to do be doing a series on data visualization and showing you different visualizations that you can do in Tableau, Power BI, and other BI tools for that matter. But before I start there, college football is back and I'm so excited. So as you can see, I got the Florida Gator hat on. We play tonight against Utah and I'm so excited about the first game. It's been such a long summer without football. Are you a college football fan? Hit me up in the comments. Let me know who your team is. Uh, I would love to connect with you and just, you know, have some college football uh, trash talk, everything in the comments. So hit me up in the comments. But for what you all came for, let's talk about data visualization. So in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to create a slope chart. And if you don't know what a slope chart is, a slope chart is basically the line charts for Eternal Twin. A line chart displays three or more points in time, while a slope chart displays exactly two points in time. So if we look at this example, what a slope chart is, we see that we have a starting point and an end point. We don't really show the variance that's happening in between. We're just showing the starting and end point and what that variance looks like. So it's a really powerful visualization when you're just trying to show, again, the change between two points. So let me show you how to quickly do this in Tableau and in Power BI. So we're going to Tableau and let me go ahead and connect to my Superstore data. So now I have my Superstore data. If I bring in my order date, let's go ahead and bring in the year. And let's go ahead and bring in our sum of sales. We see we have a line chart. And then let's go ahead and bring in our category as our color. Let's fit this to the entire view. And so now we have our actual line charts. But again, we want to show a slope chart where we're showing that change from point a to point b not necessarily the variance in between so a really quick way of doing this is to bring in a filter do your years and you remove the points and times that you do not exactly want to see you just have your beginning and end year hit okay and then now you have your slope chart um, best practice i would not hard code this if i was creating this for an actual stakeholder i'd probably do some type of calculation where i'm looking at the min date and the max date um, and bring that in as a filter. That way it dynamically changes based on when your data set updates. But for this example, I just want to quickly show you how you can visually do this um, in Tableau. And another thing as well is if you wanted to just call out, you know, maybe the category that has the highest sales or highest variance, whatever it is, you can use color for that. So instead of office supplies being orange, you can double click this and you can make this uh, blue. And then now you have the visual component where you're calling out the key thing that you want to call out. So just another way to use color for that. A lot of different techniques when using a slope chart, but this is just a really high level example of how to use this and how you can you know, put this in a visualization. So let me show you how to do this in Power BI. If you haven't already, please go to Power BI and download it and update it. I have a feeling the new UX UI is not going to go anywhere for a while, so go ahead and get used to it. But in this example, we're going to create a line chart and then we are going to bring in our information. Um, if I go to view data we have our orders here and i should have a calendar date table but i don't have one so for the people out there please don't yell at me i know it's best practice to have a calendar date table but i'm just using the exact same excel file that i was using previously um, so i'm just going to use the date hierarchy that's all generated i get it i know i promise um, but this is an example i'm just bringing it in just to show you how to do this so we're going to use our order date and then we're going to have our sum of sales and then we're going to bring in our category for the legend and now we have that same look and feel. And what we want to do is also change this to be categorical. So if we go into our properties and in our X axis, in this example, we want this to be categorical. That way we see 2020, you know, 2021, 2022, 2023. And if we come in here and actually select our filter, we could do the exact same thing is basic filtering. So we can hard code this right quick just to show this example. And then we can click on the paintbrush and add markers. And then we can do the, all the exact same thing. If we want to change the color, we can do that in our lines. Come down here, select colors. And then we can then change a furniture to be the exact same blue. So this is how you can create a slope chart in Tableau and Power BI and then use this to show the change from one point in time to another point in time without necessarily looking at the variance in between. So have you used this technique before? Have you used this type of visualization before? Please hit me up in the comments. Let me know. And 
Please like, share, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all next week for Technology Tip Thursday. And I'll talk to you all on Tuesday for 10 Minute Tuesdays where I have a great guest coming up. Anyway, you all have a great night. Go Gators. Talk to y'all later. Oh, 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 oh,